To control the spread of dengue in Singapore, the National Environment Agency is, for the first time, considering the use of a biological control method to reduce the Aedes mosquito population. A panel of experts has also been set up to explore safe and new ways to control dengue. Rising temperatures mark the start of the peak season for dengue. Aedes aegypti mosquitoes breed faster during the hotter months from June to October. Indeed, there was a sharp rise in the number of dengue cases in recent weeks. Some 460 cases were reported last week, compared to about 290 cases four weeks ago. To counter the threat, the authorities are exploring the use of a biological control method, which involves infecting male Aedes aegypti mosquitoes with a bacteria called Wolbachia. When the mosquito mates with a female partner, they produce sterile eggs that do not hatch, and this can help reduce the Aedes mosquito population. NEA's Environmental Health Institute has been carrying out studies on this method. A panel of local and international experts has also been appointed to ensure that it's safe and to give advice on new ways of dengue control. Public health and safety are our paramount concern. We are here to make sure that the public's hygiene and health are maintained. So we will only consider conducting such trials locally if we are convinced that the methods proposed are safe and effective. Ms Fu was speaking at the launch of the Do the Mozzie Wipeout campaign 2014 today. Apart from residents, this year's campaign reaches out to more segments of the community, including outbound travellers and foreign workers. They will be given educational materials to help them stay vigilant and take steps to prevent the disease.